Hello, this is another segment in a video series about incorporating categorical variables into a regression analysis. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to run a regression uh, incorporating uh, non-parallel lines. Now, the data represents um, 200 apartments in the Madison area that I collected from a Start Renting magazine that uh, records a lot of information about apartments size of the apartment in square footage, monthly rent in dollars, and then I decided to look at two locations, my categorical variable south and west. Uh, so the first thing I'll do to run the regression is create uh, two additional columns of variables. So insert two columns, and let's call the first one west. It'll be an indicator variable. It indicates if the variable, if the location is uh, south or west. Zero means south, and then one means west. It indicates whether it's a west side apartment or not. Then I also create a interaction term. I'll call this square foot, square footage times west. I need that term in order to fit the non-parallel lines. Okay, this term is merely a multiplication of the two uh, previous variables. So I say equal C4 times D4. And obviously it's zero whenever we're talking about a south side apartment. And then it's got to be the square footage value whenever we're talking about the west side apartment. Okay, I'm ready to run the regression. New data, data analysis. Regression, rent is my y variable, my x range is these, are these three variables, square footage west and the interaction term, labels in the first row, let's make the output show right here, starting in H3, we won't do anything with residual analysis at this point. Here's my output. Let's clean it up a little bit so we see what we have. Stretch out uh, column H. Let's get rid of all this confidence interval information for now. Uh, let's format some of these cells. The two decimal places, just so it's easier to see what we have. Uh, I think I'll format the interaction term to three decimal places. Uh, in the ANOVA table, let's make the sum of squares and the mean square no decimal places with a comma. Uh, okay, then we have uh, some statistics. I would like to change or modify the names of these just a little bit. But again, just to clean up the data. Looks a little better. Yeah. We don't have crowded information then. Okay, so what do we see here? Uh, let's we have these coefficients for our regression equation, but let's write out the regression equation. So, uh, according to these coefficients, the best fitting non-parallel lines equation looks like this. We have a shift in the intercept plus a shift in the slope. Okay, uh, now my interpretation of this output is uh, it seems to be a decent fit overall with R squared uh, over 67%, adjusted R squared just under 67%. Uh, so after controlling for degrees of freedom, about 67% of the variation in rent is explained by this model. Overall, the regression is significant, but it looks like, according to this, the interaction term and the shift intercept term is not significant. Well, this is a little misleading. Uh, we do know, according to this, that we don't want the interaction term because its p-value is so large, but due to lots of collinearity among these variables, we can't trust that the west indicator is not needed at this point. If we're going to reduce this model, which we would, we would only get rid of the 
interaction term, not more than one variable at a time. Okay, I'm going to take this one variable and break it up into two separate equations. One for self and one for west. Now the equation for self is uh, I put in zero for west and both these terms will just disappear. There's my equation for self. Now let's copy this equation, but I'm going to have to modify it. So I know that there's an sh intercept shift, so I'm just adding the two uh, intercept values together. And it says the new intercept, not a big shift, for the west side apartments is 191.54. And the shift in the slope is 0 0.075, so that makes the new slope for west side apartments. 0.62. Now, my interpretation of these lines individually are for south side apartments, I estimate that for each, for each additional square foot larger they are, on average their rent is higher by 54 cents, but for west side apartments, for each additional square foot larger they are, their rent is higher on average by 62 cents. So it appears that the west side apartments uh, rent increases at a faster rate per square footage than south side, although that difference, sorry about that, is not statistically significant according to this. In the next video, we'll, uh, I'll show you how to create a fitted lines plot of this regression, a non-parallel lines, fitted lines plot.